Hello, 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 everybody. Root Beer here on the very last question of our 2010 Kaylee paper. This is question number 25. Hopefully you have taken a look at it. What have we got here? Steve places a counter at zero on the diagram. On his first move, he moves the counter one to the one steps clockwise. Oh, well, step, but it's only because it's singular. Uh, clockwise to one, so he moves one step over. On his second move, he moves... 2 to the power of 2 steps clockwise to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. On his third move, 3 to the 3. On his fourth move, 4 to the 4, and so on. Uh, now 3 to the 3, that's 27. That's going to be quite a lot. Uh, and So much so that I don't want to count out and verify, but they do say it's 2. He continues in this manner, moving n to the n steps on clockwise on his nth move. At what position will the counter be after 1,234 moves? Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, they're talking about powers. Um, well, not, not, I was going to say uh, powers of numbers, but that's kind of vague. But, um, yeah. Yeah. One thing to notice is we're just moving around. I'm just getting out my calculator because I anticipate the need for my calculator in a bit. But one thing to notice is we just got single digits here. And uh, once we go past 9, we'll go to 0. Now, you can view that 0 as going from 9 to 10. And so you could say, well, after the first move, we're at 1. After the second move, we add on 2 to the 2, which is 4. And after the next move, we add on 3 to the 3, which is 27. And then 4 to the 4, which should be 256, and so on. But really, what's, what's the counter doing? The counter's just keeping track of these single digits that we've got here. The ones digits. The, the uh, If you're familiar with modular arithmetic, the mod 10 digits. And this is exactly what's going on here. This is essentially a clock, like you might be used to an analog clock going from 1 to 12. And if there's no 13 o'clock, you just go back to 1. Same sort of a thing. Um, now, I don't think there's anything special about, uh, 1234. And I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to write down the first few, uh, powers. Just to try and get myself comfortable. So 1, uh, then we go 4, then 27. Now the 20 doesn't matter, because it's 7. In fact, I think maybe I'll make a little table. What I'd like, what I'd hope to have... Uh, let's see, units, digit. What I'd like is a pattern. I would, I would really appreciate a pattern, because I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do this without a pattern. Uh, maybe it repeats after 10, or maybe it repeats after 100 or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe after a certain point, you just keep adding on multiples of 10. I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, so 3 to the 3, you get a 7. 4 to the 4, you get... Uh, I'm just going to grab my calculator so I don't fumble any of these calculations. Now I have to find the X to the Y button on my calculator. Ah, there it is. It was 256. Okay, good for me. I get to have a cookie. Now 5 to the 5, really anything that ends in a 5 to any power is going to end in a 5. So that's, that's a nice, safe thing that I can think about. 6 to the 6 ends in a 6. In fact, I think just about every power of 6 ends in a 6. Again, a really nice thing. 7 to the 7 ends in a 3. Uh, 8 to the 8 ends in a 6. Oops, 8 here, 6 here. And then uh, 9 to the 9, I want to say, ends... Uh, well, 3 to the power... No, I, yeah, 3 to the power 8 would be... 6,561. Squaring that will end in a 1 again, and that would be 9 to the 8. So 9 to the 9 should end in a 9, and the calculator agrees with me. And 10 to the 10 is just going to be uh, 10 billion, and it's going to end in a 0. It doesn't, doesn't end up changing. The counter moves a lot around the circle, but doesn't end up changing anything. Now, 11 to the 11, are you too big for my calculator's display? Yes, you are. And I'm willing to bet that that's not in, like, entirely a coincidence. Uh, not specifically that it's 11, but that, you know, pretty quickly we lose the calculator display. 
Um, but we should be able to reason our way through this. If we are familiar with modular arithmetic, you'll know that uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're just going to con consider the single digit, the remainder when you divide by 10, nothing else is going to end up impacting your calculation. It's just going to be solely dependent on the single digit. So 12 to some power will have the same uh, single digit as 2 to that same some power. So I'm not so worried about that. But here's the issue. I, I'm not just going to get, uh, when I look at this table, if I, if I were to extend this and say, okay, now let's do 11 and 12 and 13 and 14, I'm not going to get a repeat of the same numbers. Now, if I were doing uh, 4 to the 4, I'd get, I'd, you know, I get, I end with a 6. If I did 14 to the 4, it's also going to end to the 6, but I'm not doing 14 to the 4, I'm doing 14 to the 14. And that's going to be different. At least I suspect it's different. And the 20 will still be 0. Um, <laughs> now, hmm. okay, let's, um, let's think about this for a second. 11 to the 11 has the same units digit. I'm going to use modular arithmetic symbols. If you're not familiar with it, I'll just very briefly, very, very briefly. I mean, you want to look up things like modular arithmetic because this is not teaching time this is let's do a math question time but uh, these guys are written like this they are equivalent and sometimes you write mod of a particular number in this case I'll be doing mod 10 but I'm gonna not write that because the whole thing will be done mod 10 and that's uh, true if 10 divides their difference that is they both have the same remainder when you divide by 10 so uh, what's really nice is that if I've got um, numbers like uh, a is congruent to b mod 10 then it turns out their powers also work this way you can um, very very briefly justify this by saying well b is just some multiple of 10 plus a and if i were to multiply b times b i'd get b squared if I were multiply, to multiply by a over here, I'd get 10n times a plus a squared. And so b squared and a squared differ by a multiple of 10. And you can sort of extend that logic and reasoning. Again, I'm not going to particularly dwell on it. But by that reasoning, 11 to the 11 is going to have the same units digit as if we just chopped off the digit here and went 1 to the 11. And so, okay, it's going to be 1. All right. Now, how about 12 to the 12? Well, that would act the exact same way as 2 to the 12, which I can grab my calculator for. It's going to end in a 6. Okay, Very different than the 2 to the 2 that ended in a 4. Okay. Now, uh, I had a thought a moment ago. I'm trying to get back to it. I think... So what I can do is I can say, all right, if I'm looking at some multiple of 10 plus, let's say, uh, a, a single digit, B, and I'm raising that to the power of 10 to the N plus B, again, this is going to be congruent, mod 10, to B to the 10 N plus B. And that's going to be the same as b to the 10n times b to the b. And this is what I have listed in that, that first chart over here. Right? That's the 1, 4, 7, 6, 5, 6, 7, 6, 9, 0. Okay? Um, so, you know, useful thing to, to have lying around. But then there's this uh, b to the 10 to the n. I suppose I could write it as b to the 10 to the n, rather than b to the 10 n. Um, now, b to the 10, I think we can work that out for each of the uh, 
numbers as well. And is there, I'm trying to think if there's a, a fast way to do this, I guess. Let's look at, let's look at twos. Let's look at twos. Let's see, let's see what happens when I do twos. So two to the two. I'm going to, yeah, I'll keep writing the, the third bar, but I might drop that in a little bit. So 12 to the 12. Well, that's the same thing as 2 to the 12. We just talked about this. But that's 2 to the 10 times 2 to the 2. So it's 2 to the 10 times 4. 22 to the 22. That's going to be the same as 2 to the 20 times 2 to the 2. So that's 2 to the 10 squared times 4. And this one up here technically is 2 to the 10 to the 0 times 4. 32 to the 32, uh, that's going to be 2 to the 10 to the 3 times 4. Now, what are these? So 2 to the 10, I can, I can work that out. It's going to be 124, well, it's the same as 4. So I get 4, I get 4 times 4. I get uh, 4 times 4 times 4. And I get 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. These three coming from the 2 to the 10. And uh, now I'm remembering a nice little result called, uh, I want to say, Fermat's Little Theorem. Which I think goes something to the effect of A to the N is always congruent to A mod N. I'm just going to give it a quick double check. 3 to the 10 should end in a 3. It does not. Hmm. Four to the ten ends in a six. All right, I. Th oh, I think this is only true for prime numbers. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I was really hoping that we had uh, a nice pattern, but apparently this breaks down when I do things like three to the three. And Thirty-three or uh, thirteen to the thirteen, which would be three to the same as three to the thirteen. But I'm really, really holding out for a pattern here, and I'm not seeing one immediately available, which is a shame. Um, hmm. Well, it is question 25. It's supposed to be the hard one, well, the hardest one. Um, okay. So these all work. I was, I was hoping I could add in terms of. See the the 1234 that I'm supposed to add up to. Uh, after 1234 moves. Um, see, there's no way to just reach that by doing a lot of work on your calculator. I don't care how many hours. Well, eventually with enough hours, but certainly not within one hour of the contest are you going to be able to work that out. So let's think about. And something else. Let's see if we can get anything else to work here. So well, I might come back to that, but I was just struck by a thought. Uh, nine, moving nine around. So nine clockwise is the same as my er, mi same as one counterclockwise, which I would say is minus one clockwise. Counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. Same thing. 8 is congruent to minus 2. 7 is congruent to uh, minus 3. Four, or 6 is congruent to minus 4. So I'm just trying to see if uh, that might help us out. Now... I don't care what it is, 10 to the whatever and uh, anything, and 5 to the whatever. These are always going to end in zeros and fives. So they're, they're largely irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. But these ones and minus ones. So, hmm. Trying to see if, if this uh, 
is a this this lets me cancel anything out or something like that. I'm not entirely sure that it will. Hmm. I also don't think there's a formula for uh, sums of n to the n. There's, there's certainly sort of, uh, uh, formulas for things like sum of n squareds or n cubes, but the power is going up each time when we do this question, so it's making it a bit tricky. Not seeing anything to work with these minus signs here, because the, the problem is, you know, our kid is minus 2, but he'll be minus 2 to the 8. He doesn't exactly cancel out immediately with... 2 to the 2 in, in any meaningful way. Especially because, I mean, these are even powers here. Well, let's, uh, let's just go back to what we were talking about. I'm just going to say n and n to the 10. Let's at least get that going. Uh, so 1 to the 10 is just going to be 1. 2, I think we just talked about this, is uh, 4. 3 is a 9. Let's just double check that. Yeah, 3 to the 10 ends in a 9. Uh, 5 will end in a 5. 6 will end in a 6. They're nice like that. Uh, 4 to the 10 ends in a 6. 7 to the 10 ends in a 9. 8 to the 10 ends in a 4, uh, 10 to the 10 is a 0, but we don't really care about that, uh, ten, 9 to the 10 ends in a 1. Okay, so I think we might be talking about some geometric sequences. So let's talk about the 2s. I have 2 to the 2, then I have 2 to the 12, 2 to the 22, 2 to the 32, 2 to the 42, 2 to the 52. I think that's probably enough. So this, actually, I'm going to make it 3 just to make the what I think is about to happen a bit more pronounced. Just because the 2, there's going to be 4s all over and it's not going to be immediately obvious what's got coming from where. So, I guess these should all be to the three, ending with threes. So, 33, 43, 53. Okay. So, this is seven. This is seven times three to the ten, which is nine. This is seven times nine times nine. This is seven times nine times nine times nine. Seven times, and then we're going to have four nines. And then seven times nine times nine times 9, times 9. So 3 to the 10n times 3 is 7 times 9 to the n. So if I wanted to add up the changes that are just coming from the 3s, and how many of them will there be? Well, that'll be all the way up to 3 to the uh, 1233, which will be... We'll have 7 plus 7 times 9 plus 7 times 9 times 9 all the way up to 7 times 9 to the 123. So can I add this up and is this something that's worth adding up? This 9 to the uh, 123 makes me uncomfortable, but at least I, I'm starting to get an expression that I can use. A nice little geometric expression. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write out an answer to 25. Okay, It's not going to be the answer. It's not even going to get me the number that's on the counter. But I think I'm at a level where I can understand how to express uh, uh, the answer. Whether or not I can simplify that expression, that, that is for future root beer to deal with. You know, me in a couple minutes. But I think I've got the tools to at least write down something and say... That's the same as the answer. And, and that's still some good progress to be made on a question. Okay. So uh, we'll have 1 
to the 1 plus 1 to the 1 times 1 to the 10, and then 1 times 1 to the 2. And how many 1s are we going to have? Well, everything up till the 1,231st step. And then how about the 2? So we'll have 2 to the 2, which is 4. And 4 times 4 to the 1. 4 times 4 to the 2. We're going to have 4 times 4 to the up to the 1232nd step. Then we've got the 3s with their 7s here. Uh, 7 and then 9 to the 1, 9 to the 2, and then 9 to the 123. Now this is going to be the last one to the 123. Everything's going to be to the uh, 122 afterwards. So I'm actually going to uh, write in a little extra step here just so things are neat and organized as far as I'm concerned. Just trying to make it so everything lines up. Okay. So the last one, 4 to the 4 ended with a 6. And then uh, what did we just have? I think it was 4 to the 10 also is a 6. Yeah, because then it's a power of 6 at that point. 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, 1. Oh, there's nice little symmetry here. I wonder if that will in some way be exploitable. Let's find out together. Uh, we'll have 6 to the 6, or 6 plus 6 times 6 to the 1, plus 6 times 6 to the 2, plus 6 times 6 to the 122. And this is the last one because the final step would be the 1,234th step. So take off the 4, divide by 10 to get that n value. All right, now we got 5. 5 times 5 to the 1, 5 times 5 to the 2, all the way up to 5 times 5 to the 122. I'll stop writing so many intermediate steps here. Okay, the 6s all worked out. Now um, it's going to be the same numbers in reverse, so it's going to be 6, 4, and a 1. And I'm not going to add on any of the 10 to the powers or any of the things that end in 0 just because they're not going to mean anything. They are going to result in 0 change. All right, now what was it? 7 to the 7? I cannot remember what that ended in. A 3. Okay, 8 to the 8 ends in a 6. And 9 to the 9 ended in a 9. Okay. So this, when finished, and you take a look at the unit's digit, will represent the answer to uh, the question. Okay. Now, here's something I've noticed quite nicely. 3 and 7 is 10, so there's no change there. 4 and 6, no change. 9 and 1, absolutely no change. Uh, 1 times 1 to the 1 and 9, so this is 9 and this is 1, that also results in no change. 6 times 4 plus 4 times 4, that's 10 times 4, no change, no change. In fact, the first 3, whoa, 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 uh, careful, careful, careful. The first 3 and the last 3 cancel out except for this last little bit, the 123 part, because that, that doesn't have a corresponding uh, part on the bottom to cancel out. But these cancel out quite nicely. Now the fives, this is a five, this is a 25, they add up to 30. So pairs of fives will cancel out and uh, it'll cancel all the way up to Five and the 121. How do I know it'll end at five, 5 times 5 to the 121? Because it's 5 times 5 to the 0, 5 to the 1, 2 and 3 cancel. So even then the odds the last one. So 
This is left, and it just contributes a 5. So let's talk about what we're contributing. This guy is just a 5. So I have to deal with 5, the units digit of this part, and the units digits of these two sections here. The, si the powers of 6, really. Okay. So this one here is a 1. This is 4 to the 124 which I can figure out in just a moment. And this is 7, 9 to the 123. Now, 9 squared is 81, which ends in a 1. So this is really 7 times 9 times 9 squared to the 61. I think it's 61. Yeah, 61. But that's just going to be 7 times 9 times 1 to the 61. So that goes away. And that's 63. So this, this is just bringing a 3 to the table. Now 4, powers of 4, repeat quite nicely. Oh, and powers of 6 repeat quite nicely as well. This is, Oh, this is working out fantastically. So we've got the 5 coming from there, uh, the 5s. The 1 coming from the 1s. The, the 1 times 1 to the 123. The 3 coming from the 7 times 9 to the 123. The powers of 4, it goes 4, and then you square it, you get 6, uh, and then you get a 64, then a uh, 256. So it just it alternates each time. So what did we have on the previous page? We have 4 to the 124, so 4 to an even power, that's going to end in a 6. So that contributes another 6. Oh, look at that, that's 10, that goes away. All right, so we've just got, so dealt with, dealt with, dealt with. Uh, we, we've counted the five. Now we've got sixes, but all of these are going to be sixes, so I'm just going to be adding up uh, a ton of sixes. So six to any power ends in a six. So what have we got? We've got six plus six times six. All the way up to 6 times 6 to the 123, which is 6 to the 124. Okay, so I have a, so this is actually 124 sixes will be added up. And then lower, we had everything, but it was up to the one, 6 times 6 to the 122, which is really 6 to the 123. So I have, uh, I have 123 sixes here. So that many sixes, that many sixes, and five all add up together, and that should get me my answer. So just really quickly, five plus six times 124 plus 123. Grabbing the calculator, we get five plus six times 247. Multiply that by 6, it ends in a 2. Well, I could have just said it's 5 plus 6 times 7, because who really cares? We don't. We just want single digits. The units' digits are all that matters. So 5 plus 2. We should get a final answer of 7. And yes, I have dropped my equivalence symbols. Doesn't really matter at this point. But uh, what do we have? I'm getting an answer of D. So we're going to give just a very, very quick double check that I haven't miss, missed anything. So I'm just going to go back to my expression here, the one that I'm happy with. So we'll just go through this again. Even though I've really messed it up, we'll take orange here. 1 and the 9 cancel out. The 9 and the 1 cancel out. The 9 and the 1 cancel out all the way up to this point. So that leaves me with a 1. Okay, right, four and six, fours and sixes, because it's it's four times some number plus six times some number, so that's ten times some number, and that's irrelevant. Then we get four to an even power, that became a six. Okay, and then seven and threes cancel out, leaving us with seven times nine to the one twenty-three. That's seven times nine times 81 to some power. That's a 1. So this is 63. But those add up to a 10. So we don't need to worry about that. 
Pairs of fives cancel out. I'm happy with that. We're left with one five left over. Otherwise, the answer might be two. So if I miscounted that, well, two's not a possibility, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay. Fantastic. So we got this five, and then it's just six after six after six after six. How many sixes? The first one's got 124 because we have uh, six times six to the zero, and then six to the six times six to the one, then to the two. So we're, we're sort of counting, but we started counting at zero, so we add one to the end, 124 there. There's 123 sixes here. So I'm happy with our answer. Our answer is D, and that's going to finish off uh, the, the Kaylee from 2010. So if you're interested in more Kayleys, I've got tons of other Kayleys up. Um, a, the next one I'll be going through, I believe, is the 2011 Kaylee, unless something really switches. I try and go year by year. Uh, if you're looking for a harder contest, the Fermat 2010 is something I'm going to be hitting soon. If you're looking for something easier, I've already posted the Pascal, which is a grade 9 version of the contest uh, from the year 2010. So feel free to have a look at any of those. And, yeah. So, uh, if there was an easier way to do this question, I would love to hear it from any of you. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Feel free to also like or subscribe, whatever you want to do. But I will see you for more math in the future. So, thanks for watching. Take care.